Hi, what's up, y'all? The problem is correct. It's about to react to this app and preach about this title, Victim or Karen? Probably Karen. It's usually Karen about 96% of the time. But maybe in this case, it's a victim. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Let's watch. All right, today's topic. This went viral. This involves voice actress from Overwatch and WestJet, which is a Canadian airline company, one of the biggest here in Canada, up there with Air Canada. Those are two big ones. Oh, this y'all team so here. Y'all always, y'all always reporting on RT in you know, the States. <laughs> Well, let's hear what ghetto shit job people doing. So, uh, apparently the man who's shown here has hit her seat repeatedly for over 20 minutes, according to her. And so, she what? turns around to what? ask him what happened, and at that point, fuck off! That's what he said. You just, you just told me to fuck off, and now you're getting me to move? So, Trisha, a flight attendant, threatens to kick me off the plane several times, even after I move seats to comply. Mm, that's suspicious. When you're totally innocent, the man is pissed at you, and now the flight attendant is pissed at you, and you didn't do anything wrong at all. Not impossible, but suspicious. Okay, now this goes viral. A lot of people are yelling at WestJet saying how bad it is. Let's take a look. They're picking on you. Why? 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 So the captain is aware of what's going on right now. Sure. We have moved you over here. Thank you for moving. Yeah. Um, that should solve everything. I didn't see what happened. I don't know, but I, I don't want you to be using that word again. I know that you're upset. Would you please ask him not to use that word? Yes, yeah, so I will speak with him. But Thank you. I appreciate as that. As I see right now that you've been cursing, and oh. I don't want anything to be a trouble here, okay? She ain't showing that. Interesting. Wait, so what did I say? I never curse at anyone. Why didn't you say that in the clip? Like, lady, what are you talking about? I haven't cursed at anyone. So she's just making this up. Everybody's against you and, you know, you're the victim. She's a Karen. Anyway, I never cursed anyone. I was telling her that the F word was used at me. A trouble here, okay? That's not what you said in the video. You said, well, can you tell him not to use it as well? You didn't say, I wasn't using it at him. I was just telling you what he said. Like, none of this was stated in the actual video, which doesn't make a lot of sense. Judge Judy taught me when stuff don't make sense, it's usually a lot. <laughs> that's what that's what she always so say. So he is aware of it. Okay. And that's her mother. He could offload you if you're gonna keep saying those words. Okay. Are you gonna offer him the same situation? Well, he seems to be compliant right now. I didn't hear anything. As I am too, as I moved over here. Yes. Well, okay. thank you. And there's not gonna be any more issues, right? Is there? I don't think so. She seems like the aggressor. Look at the way this lady talking to me. We can go back to the gate. Okay. Okay. You want to go to LA? I do. I want to see my kids. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, stay, stay. After the humane and public speech she made to me, she speaks to them 32 minutes later. As evident by the body language, Trisha does not admonish the man like she did to me. In contrast, he actually touches Trisha's arm. I wasn't able to film this. Okay. <laughs> I stopped recording out of fear. This is when she recently said, why are you filming? Why are you causing more problems? To which I cried the answer that I'm not. She then blocks me from going to the restroom. I have to ask her several times to please let me go to use the restroom. So we've exchanged photos today. I've got mine for my report that I'm going to be sending to you. I do. I do have a problem. I was the one being cursed at. And I was you were the one reaching out to me. I was mm -hmm. I was telling you what was no, being said to me. I hope you could. I was telling you what was being said to me. I was telling you what was being said to me. I was reaching out for help. I know, but we could have handled this in a more civil situation. And how was it civil when I'm being cursed that his own wife was looking at me like she was feeling bad? I heard you personally. I I was telling you what was being said to me. And I said he's telling me to fuck off. I never said anything to him. He told me that's to fuck I off. It's a lot of and cuts said, in the video. Exactly yes, and I said, to, I, I said to I said to I said to him. Do you really need to? I do. Right I do okay. because I need evidence of this. This is ridiculous because I'm being blamed for something. He was kicking and pushing my chair. I looked back and said, "Oh, chill out, fuck off." And I said, "Excuse me, did you just tell me to fuck off?" Okay, you don't need to keep saying it. We have other people on the plane, and they don't want to hear that. Why are you language. not? Who's the guy? The the the, the flight attendant. She's that's crazy. A, that's a crazy person. She's crazy. That's a crazy. Person. Oh my crazy? God! That yeah. freak about to disagree. <laughs> yeah, because I think the lady is a You fucking idiot again. Yes, perfect. She's a crazy person. I understand that filming someone is like. She did some stuff like with, with filming and everything and stuff. But the minute she's, ex I'm in a situation, 
And I'm saying, yo. There were a lot of cuts in the video. Listen, as somebody who edits videos all the time, I pay attention to these cuts. There were several cuts in the video. Basically, she cut out parts of the vid where the flight attendant was talking. She was just doing most of the talking. So there are probably things that made her look bad that she cut out. Because if that's the case, play the whole clip from start to finish. What are you hiding? Told me this, and I'm saying the word. You're like, don't use that word. I'm like, yo, he's the one that used it. I'm telling you what he said. And you're still keep... Nah. Okay. You're a crazy person. So. Talk to us, Abby. Real quick. <laughs> she didn't need to keep saying the word. She was saying the word to antagonize the flight attendant. After you said it the first time, you don't have to keep playing. You don't have to keep saying, he told me to fuck off. He told me to fuck off. He told even, me to fuck off. She, he to, she said it. She said it four I times in that 30 she's seconds. Not, she's not even yelling. She's like just talking to the person. It doesn't matter. She's still saying it loud enough for everyone else to hear. They're the only ones talking right now. She and they saying, keep going back and forth about it. Me, about like, for what? Please stop cursing. Yeah. yeah, I think it's perfectly acceptable to say to the person on a flight where there's kids, but there's other kinds of people, stop swearing. You can explain the situation without having to repeat the word. It's perfectly fine for the flight attendant to say, can you please stop saying it? The lady doesn't want to stop saying it. Did she not keep repeating it? Was that necessary? After the flight attendant asked her yeah, not to say it not. a bunch of times? Sure, but it does not, it does not escalate the, the situation by her saying it. How does it That's not just one small part, though. If I ask you to do something when I'm trying to de-escalate and you refuse to do what I'm asking you to do, just initially, initially if I'm not just saying, yo, listen, this is what happened. He's, he's pushing me and he told me to fuck off, all right? And you're, before, right before she repeated it, we're not even there first. We're not, we're not even there yet. That's where you're wrong, though. Because you are watching the video, not realizing that they had already had this conversation off camera a bunch of times. So she had mentioned this complaint to her before. That's so the reason why she's mad at her by that point, before she's ever even repeated it on camera, is because she was already it. repeating it to her. She's, when you, when she's telling the story on camera, and she's talking to the lady. This is such a small part of the situation, though. It appears to me that this woman was cursing and causing a scene and doing the most, being a Karen. And they're just over her shit in general. That's just one small aspect of it. Is she saying, okay, can you stop saying that? Like, damn. And, but that, along with you being extra, starting shit, getting loud, like, that's what it sounds like. That's just a very small part that they're focusing on. It seems like the lady is just being a nuisance. What's going on right now? Sure. We have moved you over here. Thank you for moving. Yeah. Um, but she solved everything. I didn't see what happened. I don't know. But I, I don't want you to be using that word again. I know that you're upset. As I see right now that cursing and I don't want anything to be a trouble here, okay? Okay, so by the time we've heard it four or five times, she already said it a bunch of times. Just for context, but go ahead. So, so if, I, if I'm telling you right before the, 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 it has been repeated, I'm telling Why are you, I focus yo, on this is, small part? that person <laughs> is, is kicking off my chair and when I asked him what's going on, he told me to fuck off. And at this point, you separate us and you trained me to kick me out. And you're like all lovey dovey with this motherfucker and everything, nothing is being done. But there's something off about that flight attendant and the way she's dealing with that. I think she's she's not dealing with the, 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 the she's not really necessarily dealing dealing with this the proper way. And I think there's also something off about this Karen. I think it's Asian lady being a Karen. Okay? She was moved, she felt bereaved. That's fair. The flight attendant shows up, she didn't see the kicking, she didn't see the guy swear. All she heard is you is you repeating it a bunch of times. She's trying to understand the situation, you keep repeating it. You're you're taking it as if everything the woman said is true. No, no. But yes, because you just told the story, I've been kicked. And he told me to fuck off and all this stuff. You have no idea what happened the same way the flight attendant does it. Sure. The only thing I'm going to say is this, is when you done film and you done, you sat down, you separate, you got separated and everything and stuff, where what I think the lady was doing too much was you already got separated from the dude you documented, you did your thing. You got up to filming again. Yeah, doing nothing. yeah exactly. That's, that's what that, I that behavior tells me that something is off with this lady, that the Karen. So he's focusing on something off with this flight attendant. Maybe, maybe she could handle it a bit different, or maybe she's just annoyed with the with the woman, and she's just like, "Look, all right, can you stop cursing? Can you chill out?" So yeah, I, I I'm more so focused on how the Karen is handling it. She got up to think think about what that looks like <laughs> if if you're on that plane. Obviously, we're just seeing a, a video of the man just sitting there chilling, but she literally is standing up recording this man. After the the shit already happened and the shit was handled and you got moved, you went back over there to put a camera in space. Like, you're doing too much. You already Wait, got him on camera. Th so, yeah, she probably won't feel some type of way not like you. Flight attendants already don't get treated that well as it is and don't get paid to her. You giving them a bunch of flag when she has not witnessed the situation makes no sense. It's like when a cop shows up 
If you've been wronged by somebody and the cop shows up and the person who wronged you is acting perfectly calm and sane and you're screaming hysterically and there's no proof of anything, you're going to get arrested. You're going to get arrested. Yeah, all this is assuming that you've actually been, for all we know, you could be lying. Telling him not to tell me because to cut off. Is it illegal for me to say, to repeat to you what I was told? To I'm being a bully. Why did you cut that part off right there? For all we know, you could be lying. Telling him not to tell me because to cut off. Was is it illegal for me to say, to repeat to you what, no, I, what I was told? To be and I, I'm being a belligerent. You were being an unruly pastor. I was being an unbeliever. You then come over because you heard the fuck off. See what I don't like either? What I don't like? She said it again. Yeah. She said it. What I also don't like is she's cutting off all her responses. So Thank I'm you. Repeating to everything she's Thank saying. you. Right? Yes, notice the way this is edited. We have no idea what the lady says in return. We only hear her, her, her part and how she's the victim in all of it. So I'm peeping that interaction of it also. Exactly. Look, no, I didn't. I just told her to chill. So first of all, he lies. So of course, I'm irate from that. Uh, can you understand that? Because he's lying. I turn around and I say to him, you're lying. You told me to fuck off. And then you then proceeded to offer me a seat. And I said, this is my seat. I paid for this seat. I'm okay. I'm okay. I want to sit here. And when I proceeded to not move over to this seat, I'm going to get you deported. And he told me to fuck off. I think your bias is showing. This is discriminatory. Because there's nothing I've done. And that's also I'm weird. If I have an issue with someone behind me and I... It's so bad. They're kicking my seat so much to the point where we get into a, vo a verbal altercation. If they come over and offer to move me somewhere else, I'm going to gladly take that. She's like, no, I said I pay for this seat. I want to sit here. Why do you want to sit right by somebody who has told you to fuck off, who keeps kicking your seat, and you're having an issue with? That doesn't make any sense. That's not a logical response to that. That sounds like you are the problem and you want it to be a problem. Looking to you for help. I never even I'm pressed pause, him. I, I never like pressed you. Much. I just told you what was happening. And because you were upset, before you got onto the phone, I was like, okay, I will. So I moved and even work. continue to talk about this at length. Like, this okay. My That's my seat. I should be sitting there. You know that. What? When you move me over, making me out Why to do you want to be by the person who's the, the threat? You yourself said you were not a part of. You said that. You didn't hear anything. But for some reason, you took their side. Later on, you go and speak to them. They touch your arm. You guys are smiling. You're, you're, you're having some sort of friendly conversation, which is obviously not a not the same type of attitude you had towards me. Is she dragging this for, for a moment on social media because she wants to document okay. this and post this? How about we just separate you guys? We all want to go to L.A. We want to get to her. No, I don't want them here. Never mind what I said. She's crazy. Not the flight attendant, but that lady. She keeps on going and going and going and going. Like, it could have been, it could have been, the, well, I know she's crazy. She's like, it could have been the a whole long time ago. As a matter of fact, it was already over. Now you're making a thing out of a thing that's not a thing. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's just a question of, this whole thing is because you feel bad because you feel that you were made out to be a threat. She just moved you so that they, there's no problem on the on, on exactly. the plane. Exactly. Well, I mean, he's there with his wife. So it's easier to move you. To me on the plane yeah. before, right? Listen, sometimes people will hit the recliner. The seats are already small. It hits your knees. You're like, yo, don't recline your seat. I've heard people get mad about shit like that. Okay? Yeah. But if he hits the seat, tells you to fuck off. This happened initially. Let me, let me say, I believe you 1,000%. If you don't have witnesses, if this is not recorded, I'm not sure what you're expecting the flight attendant to do. This whole no. That's not the attitude you had. It's small seats. And he cursed at me. And what you were okay, supposed to do? Maybe he did. Okay, maybe he did. Why am I being moved? He lied to you. Do you understand that, Trisha? Okay. It's Trisha, okay. right? Okay. It's Trisha, right? Maybe he did. Is it? It's Trisha. Maybe he did. Yes, she did. yes, yes. She's a camera. Can we find the agreement? Is she a camera? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Move the fuck on. You got a whole row to yourself. Yeah. Oh, a whole row. I think she actually did a good job. She did an okay job. Okay. She did an okay job. No, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be saying, no, she did an okay job. I think my mic is right. Because right. no, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say, no, she not, no, she did a good job. Because I'm gonna go back on what I said, and I say, I apologize. Because, cause she don't know. She got a, a whole ass flight. She got to deal with this whole ass flight, and more than two motherfuckers uh, bickering over a fucking seat being reclined and a word. Like, First so what am I gonna do? Keep him like that? No, it's gonna escalate and do something else. I'm gonna separate you, and it's easier to separate one person than two people. Hello. Right. Hello. Hello. Last two people in it. So she did what she had to do. First, what she was doing with that person and, and separating them, they were boarding. So technically, she wasn't paid. So she would have to be nice to you. Okay, hey, maybe he did. Maybe Can you tell me your name again? It's Trisha, yes, right? It's Trisha. I'm Charlotte. No, and I'm you were supposed to speak to him. Charlotte, I did speak to him. You yeah. berated me, then you told me that I was going to be the one off boarded, and then you moved me over. I told you I didn't want to move. Then you could have gone off the plane. 
I see why am I being moved? And then you started taking pictures of me. So she didn't even want to move seats. No, 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 no. Trish, I apologize. You were given a whole road. Get this broad out of here, man. Listen, I can understand feeling grief because you're not believed yet. And somebody may have hit your seat. I could understand that. But everything you did after that is how a toddler and a Karen acts. I'm sorry. You don't get my sympathies. I know a lot of people want to shit on flight attendants or companies or whatever. That flight attendant doesn't deserve none of that. I'm siding with her in this situation. Crazy. My bad, Trish. And you know what? You're an Overwatch actress, so you've got a bit of a following online and shit. You're a little bit semi famous. You're also incredibly tight. That's crazy. Behavior. And also just watch how this shit's edited. You realize you don't see any of her responses. If Charlotte wants to be believed, she released a full video. Exactly. Release the whole video. Not edited. Not halfway. I mean, you've already said the F word a hundred times. Yo, get the fuck up out of here. And here now you're trying to campaign against WestJet. Yo, this bronze and Karen. That's what I think. Yeah. Sorry about that, Trish. My bad. Yeah, Trish, you deserve better. I overreacted. Yeah, if anything happens to you, reach out to us. We'll do a follow up, okay? Sorry about that. Best of luck to you, girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Best of luck to you, girlfriend. I agree 1000% with Abba. Lady's a hot mess. She's so obviously Karen. I don't see how anybody could see anything different. Maybe I, I'm, I'm, I'm unclear, but at the beginning of the video, I'm pretty sure he said that people were on her side and against WestJet. The internet is just a very idiotic, toxic place, and they are itching to cancel companies, people. They, they want to have something to be against. So this just gives them the ammo to do that. That's the only thing I can think of because this lady is obviously, Karen, she's obviously in the wrong. Like, what, am I missing something? Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!